welcome back. Or if it's your first time joining us, welcome to Glen Mackin Church of God's Online Sunday School. And today we are going to start by singing Praise Ye the Lord. So please stand up and join in with me. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise, what's that? It's a Well done. Our puppet friends are back again to go over our memory verse with us and we're learning Romans 12 verse 2 at the moment. So please join in as I hand over to Gideon and Micah. job. I think we need a wee break after all our singing so we're going to watch our story. Now last week we heard about poor Daniel being thrown in the lion's den but thankfully God kept him safe. Now today's story takes place later for the Israelites. There's another new king called Cyrus and God has put it in Cyrus's heart to let the exiles go home as remember the Israelites are living in Babylon as servants and it's been 70 years since they left Jerusalem and God promised that after this time the Israelites would go home. So let's watch together and find out what happens. A man named Cyrus was the king of Persia. During this time God was using all the powerful nations to carry out his plans. In his first year as a king Cyrus was guided by God to give a special command. This command of God was sent to his people throughout the empire. One of God's prophets, called Jeremiah, a long time ago, had said that something like this would happen. When it was time for Cyrus to convey the message of God to the people, 
He said, I, Cyrus, king of Persia, send this order to all the people. The true God, the ruler of heaven, has made me king over all people. He also said that God had asked him to build his temple in Jerusalem in the land of Judah. The people must go to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple of their God. If someone lived out of the country and needed help to return, their neighbors must help them and give them silver and gold and all the other things that they might need. Saying this, Cyrus blessed the people and returned home. By the seventh month, all the people of Israel met in Jerusalem to rebuild the altar of God's temple. Hello again. So the exiles have returned to Jerusalem to rebuild God's temple. It was going to be bigger and better than it was before. And it's hard waiting for things though. Imagine having to wait 70 years for something. And that's a long time. And I'm sure during that time the Israelites had doubts. Were they ever going home? Was God really still with them in Babylon? We all doubt. But we can have faith in God and trust in him because God never breaks a promise and he never goes back on his word. He even loves us when we're at our worst and when we're going against his will for us. Now there's a man in the Bible who nobody really liked because he was a tax collector and that meant that he collected all the people's money to give to the government. And you know, I think he was taking a bit more money so he could keep it for himself. Did God still love him? Do you know who I'm talking about? Let's sing together, Zacchaeus was a very little man. We're going to pray together now, so everyone, put up your praying hands. Jesus, thank you for another week of Sunday School. Thank you for loving us and always being patient with us. Please bless all the children watching today, and Lord, can you help all those who need a touch from you, in their bodies and in their minds. And place your hedge of protection around us this week, and help us to have faith no matter our situation. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. And now for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope you enjoyed Sunday School today and thank you for watching and joining with us. We're meeting next week during the church service at 11am so if you don't have your own Sunday School or church you're more than welcome to join us. We're all socially distanced and wearing masks so if you can't make it in person then don't worry. I'll be back online at 2pm next Sunday. Everybody enjoy the rest of your afternoon and I will see you again next week. Bye everyone. <laughs>